The Marlin X-22 bolt action kind of looks like the Model 60 except this is a bolt action not a semi-auto. I have a uh, I think a Tasco scope on it which I've had good luck with Tasco scopes. Some people don't like them but I, I do. So what I'm going to be shooting with this today is some shorts. Some uh, CCI shorts we're going to be shooting today just to show the sound decibels on those. And then just to see a comparison, I'm going to shoot some of these uh, Federal uh, Auto Match also. Here. So we're going to get set up here in a little bit. I'm going to be dumping some out here. So I'm just going to take this tube magazine fed. So it's usually easiest to just take this out. It's out of the way then. And then just put my, my rounds in. Right here. I'm just going to drop in those in. Just like that. I think the capacity of this is uh, 17 long rifle, I think it's 20, 15 long rifle, 17 longs, and 22 shorts, or 23, 22 or 23 shorts. Okay, we're, we're set up here now, we're shooting just short range with this because these don't have a lot of powder behind them, so the velocity and accuracy at long distances aren't going to be really big, so we're just kind of seeing what we're doing here at about 12 yards. Now safety side. Better safe inside. A little low. It's not surprising with these. Well, about maybe, two, maybe about an inch low. Pretty much consistent with an inch low. It's a very good group. Kind of sounds like a modified air gun. Might be the last one. And we're empty. So. It's got a pretty nice, pretty tight group. It's probably about a one inch group. I'm not exactly sure how many it holds. I'm thinking that's like seven rounds, probably. Seven rounds. Ideally, I'd want them in the bowl, but it's not a bad group. And actually, at the distance, uh, if you started pushing this gun out to 15, 20 yards, your groups are going to be way low. There's just not enough power. But uh, for a short range uh, pest control round, it's ideal. the target in to nine yards um, and I'm going to actually shoot five rounds with the scope and I'm going to actually try uh, I'm going to try a couple rounds with the iron sights from this scope because so I do have a scope that has the see-through bottom so you can see through to your iron sights it's not scope only so I'm going to actually load this up here shortly and I'm going to try some with the scope at nine yards and some with the iron sights at nine yards all right, we're going to put one in here, and we're going to try some here with the scope at... Oh, that's so awesome. And we'll see. I'm going to try to aim in the same place I did the last one and see that if the yardage difference makes a difference or not. But still low. It may just be that I actually have to raise the, scope, the sights up. I'm going to 
actually go down to the iron sights here just to see. It's a little bit more difficult of sight to do. Okay, let's okay. go and okay. take a look at it. So, so these were my two shots with the scope, which are up a little bit. I mean, because you had some of these, this group could have, was as low as there. This is a little bit higher. Hard to say, I should have shot more to really tell if it was going to drop any. And those two shots were actually just with the iron sights with the buckhorn sight. So it's obviously, if I really wanted, I could probably move the scope up a little bit, or if I'm using the scope on this target, I probably would hold here versus holding here. And that would bring that into that bowl. Otherwise, very good group with the iron sights. I like the iron sight for, this is nine yards, right? Yes, this is yeah, nine yards. Yeah, it is very accurate iron sight for pest control. Pest control.